What's up, YouTube? We got a yo yo review to do today. This is the Yo Yo Friends Peregrine. All right, so Yo Yo Friends Peregrine, uh, newest yo yo coming out from my friends, our good friends at Yo Yo Friends. Here's the box, here's the yo yo. Uh, and this is their high end premium competition spec competition killer yo-yo and oh my god let's get into the specs all right so diameter is 55.34 millimeters it weighs in at a very light 63.5 grams however that still feels nice and meaty because it's a bimetal it's mm, 63 that's it's a good that's a good bimetal weight right there i tell you what I tell you what uh 46 millimeters wide plenty wide and um Gap width 4.42 millimeters, a little, just a, just a mm, hair. Uh, 4.45 is pretty standard, 4.42, just a hair tighter for them tight binds, those nice tight binds when you're uh, when, when you're on stage. Not snaggy though. Uh, response 19 millimeter slim pad with a center track bearing, uh, a M4 8 millimeter axle, and uh, it actually comes with extra axles, just in case something happens, axle bends or something. Uh, this is a super high premium yo-yo. Uh, 7068 aluminum with a uh, stainless steel ring. So this is sort of like future stuff. Uh, every competitor, and they, they have a big team all over the world. Their team, the Yo-Yo Friends team, is all over the world. Uh, and they compete at all kinds of competitions. I've met a bunch of them. Super great dudes. Uh, great players, too. Holy cow. Um, they've all pretty much switched to this as their competition yo-yo. Whenever competitions come back. Um, very excited about it. Very excited to watch them play with this. This is sort of, I don't want to say it's their replacement to the, the Hummingbird, but it's sort of the, like, evolution, the next step in yo-yo performance. Uh, and really, for my money, nobody does it better than Yo-Yo Friends is doing it right now. Uh, as far as high-end bimetal competition stuff. It, nope, nobody can touch it. So these are going to be between 110 and 120 uh, dollars, depending on what you get. Some of the rings have colors and stuff on it. Uh, I'm pink. I got a pink one. I got a nice pink. Uh, very cool. Uh, let's talk about it a little bit. So in my opinion, this is exactly what you want in a high performance competition yo-yo. It's a little bit wider than average. Here it is next to. The Rain City author, as you can see, it's a decent bit wider than the author. Um, here it is next to another wide yo-yo, and as you can see, it's pretty much same width as a yo-yo that's kind of a little bit on the wide side. More about this coming soon. I know, I'm going to just keep teasing this yo-yo because I'm, I'm loving it. But anyway, loving this. This... It, I mean, it's a beast. It is It is just... It makes it easier to play yo-yo. That's... Baseline, this is a competition yo-yo. It makes it easier to play yo-yo, so you can focus on your tricks. Uh, tons of power, obviously, with stainless steel rings. That's what you want in a bimetal. I, I love the 7068 blast finish. It's going to be great for grinds. It's even kind of a little bit brushed here, too. Like, this isn't snaggy. Like, these aren't as snaggy as just, like, a polished ring would be. It's, they're like, a little bit brushed. And... Overall, nice cup design, keep it simple design, uh, a little on the wide side, easy to hit the string, easy to hit all your bangers. This is straight up like a competition killer. Uh, in my opinion, better than a drop near, better than all that. This is amazing. This is a, this is the competition yo-yo. Uh, this is probably the best competition yo-yo I've played in I, I can't think of how long. It's been a really long time, and this thing is awesome. It ticks all those boxes for me, even though I'm not a competitor. But let's go ahead and throw it around a little bit. I'll show you guys what this thing can do. The Peregrine. First thing you'll notice is that it's a little bit wide. And it is. It will play fast and it does not leave the plane. Great. Grind finish. Great. It'll do this all day. Binds are very nice and tight. Uh, as far as ease of hitting the string, super easy. Spins forever, super stable, not snaggy. 
It's hard to miss. Just a really good, really solid, really stable competition here. It's pretty fun too. I, I really like how like wide it is. The the width is is very uh, very me. I, I really like how wide this thing is. It's a really good uh, width. I feel like a lot of times they do with fine metals like this. They get a little bit a little tight. They're not as they're not as wide to sort of facilitate speed play, I guess, in like tight combinations. But uh, this seems to be just about for me the perfect perfect width. Finger spins are very doable. Easy to get the, the bind on those. Can you probably finger grind? Let's try that. Or probably thumb grind. Let's try that out. Get on a little bit of an angle. Yeah. Plenty of room to get your thumb in there. The uh, ring doesn't go to the inside, so it doesn't snag on your thumb either. And nice, reliable response. Let's go ahead and take this bad boy apart and uh, I'll show you guys the insides and we'll do pros and cons. All right, yo, your friends, Peregrine. Let's take her apart. As we can see here, let's look at this side first. It has pretty simple, just, I guess that's just a wing shape. So you get the nice uh, flare out there, uh, straight V there, no curvature or anything to that really rounds over ever so slightly my same color as my skin uh, it's ever so slightly right before the pad nice response pad right in there it's great came apart great too uh, yeah your friends is uh, a player owned company that is sort of uh, affiliated with FPM FPM does some of the best machining in yo-yos this is like Excellent. It's the, I, I don't know that it gets any better than FPM. Um, goes back together real nice. Uh, center track bearing, pretty standard stuff. Let's do pros and cons. Pros, uh, super high end performance level yo-yo. If you're not a sponsored player with a custom yo-yo or with a you know a, a signature yo-yo or anything like that, um, this is the kind of yo-yo you want to use at a competition. Uh, this is super stable, super long spinning. Uh, light just able to handle everything handles speed handles tech stuff just it's it's capable and makes playing yo-yo easier uh that's kind of the 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 essence in my opinion of what you want in a competition yo-yo it, it needs to be easy to play because it's hard enough to get up on stage to learn a trick to to make a routine and all that stuff you want your yo-yo to make it as easy for you to hit that routine as flawlessly as possible. And I think as far as gear goes and as far as competition yo-yos go, I can't think that I've played one that, that does it much better than this. This is top of the top, cream of the crop. Um, Price-wise as well, you know, $100 for a bimetal, $110, $120, $120. It's right in that sweet spot. Yes, a little bit high end uh, on the bimetals. You can get them for $75 or so, but they're not this good. This thing's also dead smooth, 7068 aluminum, stainless steel rings, uh, and and perfect machining. Plus you get extra axles, and and, and and you know, plus you get extra axles and stuff. Comes in this nice box. Oh, I need a sticker. Forget about the sticker. So you know, you really get you get your money's worth. I'm not saying it's like oh, what a bargain. It's it's just it's the right price for a yo-yo of this caliber. This is what you should expect to pay for a yo-yo of this caliber, and it's excellent. Um, as far as cons are concerned, I wouldn't say there's any cons per se, but if you're looking for just a chill yo-yo, something to carry around with you every day, this kind of isn't it. This is really more of a high performance, I'm practicing or I'm trying to learn new tricks or I'm very serious about learning new tricks and I or I just want a really, really good bimetal high performance yo-yo. That's what this is. Um, it's not a chill every day, throw in your pocket, carry, I mean, you can play it every day, obviously, uh, but like carry around with you and, and, you know, beat up and stuff like that. I mean, you could beat it up. You could totally do that. And I'm sure it would take all of the punishment that you want to give to it. But 
from my opinion, from my perspective, I'd rather not throw things that are $110, $120 into the ground. Um, I would rather sort of keep those things nice and protected and use them for special practice, not just out play. And that's kind of what this is. And, and if that's a con, like, I'm sort of stretching here. So that's sort of the, like, it's, it's not a, it's, it's, it's a performance yo-yo. This is a, this is a competition yo-yo. It's made for, for competitors. It's made by competitors. And if that's what you're looking for, it's hard to find a better one. This one's amazing. Um, that being said, I think the price is good too. So, uh, yeah, this thing comes out on the 18th. So today is Friday. You're what the day, if you're watching this, the day this video drops today is Friday. It comes out next Friday. Uh, and these usually don't hang around very long. I can't think of uh, many times where uh, Yo-Yo Friends Yo-Yos are available for a uh, especially long time or don't sell out. They're priced right and they're killer performers. And I think the Yo-Yo Friends team is great. I think this Yo-Yo is great. And uh, I think if if a high performance bimetal is something you're looking for, I, this is the one, man. This is the one. But uh, it's gonna do it for me, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Please make sure you like and subscribe. Cheers to you. I'll see you next time.